A court in Jerusalem has ruled that a former principal of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish school in Melbourne is mentally unfit to face extradition to Australia. Malka Leifer is wanted by Victorian police on charges of indecent assault. Accused of 74 sexual abuse offences in Australia, but instead of facing trial, Malka Leifer is now free in Israel. Today's outcome is a devastating one, really. The former principal at Melbourne's ultra-Orthodox Adas Israel School fled Australia in 2008 following allegations from former students. Australian prosecutors have been trying to extradite her ever since. But overnight, an Israeli judge ruled she was mentally unfit to face extradition and lifted a home detention order that had been in place since 2014. If she's unwell, put her in an institution. If she's well enough, put her before the courts. It's got to be either or. The only constraint on her is that five times over the next six months she has to turn up to a hospital and undergo psychiatric treatment. And I think that's one of the things that's equally sh shocking. The Victorian Supreme Court last year awarded an alleged victim more than $1 million in compensation in a civil case. In Israel, she's avoided several extradition hearings in the past two years, claiming the courtroom brought on panic attacks. Anti-abuse activist Manny Wax says the community is baffled with the outcome. Outraged, devastated, um, they've lost faith in the Israeli judicial system. Uh, it really has had a, a, a detrimental impact on them. They were uh, allegedly abused all these years ago and they finally thought that their abuser was going to face justice and now she's walking free. In a statement, the Attorney General's Department says Australia retains a strong extradition interest in Miss Leifer who's wanted to face prosecution in Victoria and is liaising closely with Israeli authorities regarding next steps in the extradition process. The community generally would prefer that the victims have an opportunity to have those charges heard in a court of law in Melbourne. Officials from the Australian Embassy in Israel are reportedly studying the judgment. Sarah Arbo, SBS World News.